one of the somewhat um, hot topics within Power Automate Desktop is how you use the application to extract or scrape off information from different websites. One of the recurring themes I see a lot also on Reddit people talk, posting about is how you scrape off information from LinkedIn, for example. So because of that, I thought that I could make a video about it, maybe see if I could ride the wave um, a bit in the algorithm. Um, the flow is here on the screen. It's 10 steps. It's not that difficult. Um, I'll show you how to do it step by step. I'm using Power Automate Desktop. It's a free application. If you have a Windows computer, there's probably already installed on your computer. Otherwise, you can download it <coughs> from the Microsoft Store. But what we will be doing is that we will go into LinkedIn. We will make a um, search. So let's see. We go. Let's say we go into network and we will search for Power Automate people. So we'll search for this. We will search only for the people. Uh, we will search for the ones that I have in second, um, the second, what do you call this, uh, connection. So not the ones that I am connected with, but the ones that I have people connected with that I'm connected with. You get my point. Um, we can add some more filters, maybe saying that they, they speak English or they speak Danish. Um, you can add whatever here, uh, but we'll get some search going. And then you can see they all show up here there's about 5300 results uh, i think there's a cap at 100 pages but this is fine um, um i'm just trying to replicate uh, if i was for example a tal talent acquisition person who needed to find people or if i'm a person who needs to expand my network within a certain area then we will take this search uh, or at least the first 100 pages um and then we will extract the information from uh, the people in this uh, in this list. And then for the next episode, so that won't be covered in this uh, video, but for the next one, I will show you also how to, once you have all these details out on all these people, uh, how you go and fetch all their um, uh, mail addresses. Because on your profile, some people on their contact information has added or have added their uh, email addresses. So. If you were someone who wanted to send out newsletters or you wanted to get in contact with people uh, who do a specific type of task, whatever it might be, uh, then you might be able to extract their um, their contact information and their addresses, or uh, email addresses, um, nice and quick. I'll show you that in the next one. Um, so if we go back, this is the flow. We'll start from the scratch. So let's just create a new flow, LinkedIn, extract details, and we'll just post it over here, pull this away. So we will launch Chrome, and now we just have to go back. I get the uh, the search again. So Power Automate, we will do that. We will only search for the people, and we will only search for the ones in second connection layer, um, and we will only do the ones who speak English and Danish. Let's say that. So here is the search. So we want to have the uh, URL, but as you can see with the URL, this is looking kind of funky, and we have to do something about it before we post it into uh, or use it into the Power Automate desktop flow because um, as an example you can see that all these um, uh, parentheses are not uh, percentage um, markers that's not good uh, to post and use in Power Automate desktop like that because in Power Automate desktop it refers to variables um, so we need to do something that's called URL decoding so just search for URL decoder paste it in it can be whatever and then decode it and you get a new script that doesn't include these details so we need this we go into the flow and say we will launch a new instance this is the url we will maximize it it's on a local computer that's fine um then as a prerequisite we will also launch an excel file because we need to store the information that um that we will extract we need to store it somewhere so we need to have an excel instance uh, to store it in so we will just open it like this that's fine let's start with this um, and then here we will use a loop action 
and we will simply just say that it starts from one it's ended at five there's no need to do all 100 pages and then every time it does the loop it'll just add one so this means that it'll run through the loop then it'll add one then it'll, it'll be two here three four five and then once it hits five it'll stop um, so we will add a loop like this and then we will use go to web page and we will say this is going to be our way of um, of iterating through the pages so we will just do it here so this is the link that we just posted in the launched new chrome action up here and we just need to add uh, here before any of these uh, and Uh, before any of these and characters so we will say page equals and then we will reference the loop index that we just used and then we will add in a and again so this is exactly what we added page equals and then a variable um, loop index and then an and and then this one it was already there so this should be this should be fine. Let's test it. Uh, so we can just run this. Um, let's uh, also just add, uh, before we do anything, close the Excel. Oh, that needs to be gone down here. And we want to save the document in a folder. So let's save it in here. And then let's just do LinkedIn. LinkedIn um, test flow like this and we can add the close web browser also oh this we don't want to do right now so let's see if we can run it so we're on the right page now we're on the second page you can see up here it adds third page fourth page fifth page and then i'm guessing it should stop so I had, yeah, I had uh, I had Excel open on my other screen, so that opened and then it closed, and then uh, this didn't close because we um, uh, we disabled this action. <coughs> okay, so now we have the loop going. So we get into the page, we get all the information. Um, so if we open this again, because we need it. So we're here, right? We're on the first page. Um, and then we need to extract all the information on these people. So you can do something smart, which is that you um, use extract data from web page. And then you paste this in and then now you have to open the web page. And then this little helper, live web helper will come up. And we want to extract a bunch of different information. So we want to extract the name of this person so you right click here and say you want to extract the text and then we want to search for so you see here it says span and we also want to get the anchor because in the anchor there is a web page or a link to his profile and that we will use we won't actually use it now but we'll use it in the next episode uh, because we need to use the profile link to go into each contact information page to see if we can extract his email so we'll use that in the second uh, second video we also want to use the uh, title here. Uh, so that'll be this and his uh, location. And we will do something with this. It looks a little bit odd, but we'll do something with it in a second. And then um, if we're really smart, um, which we are, we will do the same thing for the next, because then in a second it should figure out that we want to do the same kind of extraction for each peop for each um, section on the page. Uh, so now uh, it's looping through all of them and you can see that it's catching all the information from everybody. So this is it, say finish. And then here we'll, we will say process data upon extraction because this should uh, make it look less weird. Now we can close that, we can go back into the flow. And we will say, uh, get first free row. Well, there's only row, so that's fine. And it's from the Excel instance, and it's column one. <coughs> so just it'll be column A, 
Um, so we need that. And then we want to write to Excel. Write to Excel worksheet. And it'll be again the Excel instance. The value that we want to write is the data from the web page that we're extracting. And we want to spec on specified cell, column A. Uh, and then we will reference the first three row on column. And then that should be it. So now, if I'm not fully mistaken, we can test this out. So we have the Excel shot. So let's run it. And maybe the Excel file will open up on a different tab on my different screen over here. Um, but we're going into the web search. And now we're on page two, as you can see in the URL. Now we're on page three. And page four. And then one more page, then that'll be the last one. Here we go. And then it should shut down, and it should also shut down the Excel file. Boop, boop. So let's test what we captured. Hopefully we did it correctly. So here... Ah, okay, a few, a few things that we can just fix on the fly. Um, so we want to have the information looking a little bit differently. So we don't want to process it. Let's test it again. We'll just do two. We will delete the file. We'll run it again. up the Excel sheet again and here we go so now it looks a little bit better there's not all the the do and the selector CSS selectors or, or anything so now um, we have the title of the person and the location without all the extra text um, now we're only uh, missing you mean you can add that right you can add it into the flow uh, but you can also just add it here the name link uh, title uh, location and you can do some formatting on it, all obviously. Uh, but then, this is how you extract all the information. Now, uh, we could try to see if we're lucky. So this is what I want to be covering in the next episode. So we go into a random person's profile, we click the contact information, and here we have an email. How do you extract that? That's fairly easy, and I'll show you next week.